Smelling salts are chemical compounds used as stimulants to restore consciousness after fainting. Fainting can be caused by the slowing of the heart and a decrease of blood to the brain. The active compound in smelling salts is ammonium carbonate, which releases ammonia gas and, when held under the nose, irritates the mucous membranes of the nose and lungs and triggers the inhalation reflex. Irritating these mucous membranes causes the muscles that control breathing to work faster. This in turn increases heart rate and blood flow, thereby reviving the patient. In the 17th century, they distilled an ammonia solution from the shavings of the horns and hooves of a male red deer, also known as a heart. This led to the alternative name for smelling salts, salt of heart's horn. Smelling salts were widely used in Victorian Britain to revive fainting women, and in some areas, constables would carry a container of them for this purpose. During this time, smelling salts were commonly dissolved with perfume in vinegar or alcohol and soaked onto a sponge. The sponge was then carried on the person in a decorative container called a vinaigrette. The use of smelling salts was widely recommended during the Second World War, with all workplaces advised by the British Red Cross and St John's Ambulance to keep smelling salts in their first aid boxes. Most modern solutions also contain water and other products to perfume or act in conjunction with the ammonia, such as lavender or eucalyptus oil. For this reason, they should be more correctly termed as aromatic spirits of ammonia. Historically, smelling salts have been used on people feeling faint or who have fainted. Smelling salts are often used on athletes to wake up competitors so that they perform better. In 2005, Michael Strahan estimated that 70 to 80% of National Football League players were using smelling salts as stimulants. Ammonia gas is toxic in large concentrations for prolonged periods and can be fatal. If a high concentration of ammonia is inhaled too close to the nostril, it might burn the nasal or oral mucosa. The suggested distance from the nose is 10 to 15 centimeters. The use of ammonia smelling salts to revive people who have been injured during sport is not recommended. This is because the beneficial effects of the smelling salts may temporarily mask the appearance of serious complications, which could in turn be misinterpreted by a healthcare professional.